Next at 11, experts bracing for a bad season for Lyme disease, but there could be a new way to treat the symptoms. Neck pain, joint pain, muscle aches, muscle fatigue. All new tonight, why some patients are turning to a form of laser therapy and whether it's actually getting results. There's concern this summer that we'll see a huge surge in ticks in our area, and that worries scientists and doctors who are bracing for a bad summer for Lyme disease. It's already a tough disease to diagnose and treat, but a new treatment that we've never seen before might make it easier to cope with the symptoms. So this just goes into there like just like a flashlight, and then you can see the light into the passing by the blood. Neck pain, joint pain, muscle aches, muscle fatigue, and a lot of fatigue just in general. That's just part of what it feels like to have Lyme disease. Kathy Fowler Silverstein has struggled with some of Lyme's most serious symptoms for years. She's tried all the treatments. Some have helped, some have been a waste of time. Lately, she's been getting real relief from this. Laser light injected directly into her veins. It's called intravenous laser therapy, and it was developed by a German doctor 10 years ago. Andrew Block is a local physical therapist who also does acupuncture. He went to Germany last December to learn more about ILT. And they wanted to come up with other ways to utilize different type of light into the body, uh, mostly blue, yellow, and, and uh, green light. But those lights don't penetrate through the skin. The German Dr. Weber came up with a system where actually we can introduce light underneath the skin. Block started offering the new treatment at his pain and rehab clinic in Rockville a few months ago. This light therapy has been approved by the FDA, but only for use on the skin surface for things like muscle pain and arthritis. So this is an off-label use. There are four different lights, each with a different application. So red will have more of a ATP, cellular regeneration, more of a stimulating of the immune system. Green light is more oxygen uptake like a plant. The yellow light is more of a vitamin D and serotonin effect. And blue is more like a cold pack, so more of like a cooling effect and anti-inflammatory. The lights are administered individually, each one for about 10 minutes. Block typically uses all four lasers with his patients who have Lyme and other hard to treat diseases. I think this is probably my 16th or 17th treatment. Heidi Foster has an autoimmune illness and many of her symptoms are similar to those of Lyme disease. I have pain um, all over uh, and each day it could radiate to somewhere else. Like one day it could be in my wrists, the next day it could be in my knees or in my neck. Uh, my lower back. Andrew Block says there are no known side effects with this treatment, and it's making a real difference for some of his patients who have seen their pain levels come way down. Prior, I was walking around with about an eight or a nine. It was pretty bad. Um, I would say now it's probably about a two or a three. I definitely have more energy. Um, I do feel like I've gotten a little bit of myself back. Light therapy can also be used for other conditions, including depression or insomnia. It's about $140 a treatment, and it's best to check with your insurance company to see if it's covered as an alternative therapy. But it's, a, hmm, it's something new, yeah, and uh, some patients are getting real relief from it. Yeah. So. Wow.